in the last two videos, we talked about ITZ bases for electric football figures, and we also talked about total team control bases and rookie bases by Tudor. And now in this video, I want to talk about Tudor's Invisa bases. These are what come with a modern electric football game. We'll start with the speed cleats. And uh, that's really all we're going to talk about those. They fall over on every single play. There is no directional control as advertised in the instruction booklet. They don't even fit properly on uh, certain figures, and I'll explain that in a few moments. And most coaches agree they are a right pain in the ass. Now, strength cleats, on the other hand, are actually really good straight out of the box, which is a boon for electric football, especially individuals who may not have the, uh, uh, the skill or the resources to go out and buy all the equipment necessary to tweak bases. So let's just uh, go ahead and have a look at some of these. Uh, one must temper their expectations with Invisibases. Just keep that in mind. That was actually a very good result and better than most total team control bases straight out of the box. And uh, so as, as, as badly as I slag off the uh, speed cleats, I'll be among the very first to praise the strength cleats. I have put some poster putty on these to give them some stability and weight. Yeah, that's a looper. And uh, I'd probably use that for a, on a defensive back for zone coverage. And, uh, you know, they're not all going to be stellar. I've purchased quite a few bags of these strength cleats to come up with uh, some pretty serviceable results. That is phenomenal. Um, certainly not up to par with an ITZ base or even a, a, a properly tweaked total team control base, but you can play football with these. And um, if you're new to this hobby, uh, I've, I've already suggested this in a previous video, I believe, uh, do yourself a huge favor and buy yourself a couple more bags of strength cleats and just uh, forget about the speed cleats. Um, you will find that uh, this becomes a much more enjoyable game when your running backs and wide receivers and tight end aren't falling over on every single play. It doesn't matter how fast the base is. If they've fallen over, they cannot uh, run downfield to catch a pass. <laughs> Meanwhile, the strength cleats, perfectly fine to play the game with. You're not going to have any fast runners, but... Like I said, your runners will achieve forward progress downfield. That's hard to argue with. Again, I can't praise these enough. Um, there is a way to tweak these for speed, but it requires using some nail cutters or some other kind of cutters to make a sort of... Um, I don't even know the, uh, it's a geometrical shape beneath the base. Uh, it's difficult to do. I've tried it and with poor results, but um, they it's sort of, they show you how to do it in the instruction book. Um, if you're looking for uh, some insight on how to tweak these bases, check out Victor Robinson's YouTube channel. As far as I know, he's the only uh, uh, person on YouTube who has actually tweaked these and, and has some great tutorials. Uh, he'll, his run much better than these and uh, one other hint if uh, you're a base boiler which means if you uh, put your bases in a pot and boil them uh, IT, uh, these um, Invisa bases do melt so don't do that um, boiling bases in some tournament leagues is prohibited I don't do it because, again, I'd be afraid of, of screwing up the base anyway. 
Yeah. But listen, with 22 of these on the field, you can play some pretty neat football. You're not going to have some any fast-paced runs downfield. It's a more even field with your uh, linemen and your linebackers and your uh, eligible receivers and your secondary. But uh, at least you can play. That's it's a it's a tall order with those speed cleats. Uh, the constant falling over, no directional control. <laughs> Of course, you have no directional control with these either. They're going to go where they're going to go. But, um, you know, if using a multi-stop rule set, that's not a problem. That's why multi-stop rule sets exist, I think. I'm pretty sure that's the reason. But, you know, again, I cannot praise strength cleats enough. And I feel like that these were packaged with a set of 22 strength cleats rather than uh, 12 strength cleats and 12 pairs of speed cleats or whatever the the uh, the number is I think a lot more units would be sold and I think there'd be far more interest in continuing to play the game after the first weekend by uh, the average consumer because historically that's about the lifespan of an electric football game with uh, a new per a new uh, owner These bases will uh, mitigate the disappointment that is historically attributed and attached to electric football. And then, you know, if you, if you can master the art of tweaking these, you can really step up your game. And let me go ahead and say that when you properly tweak speed cleats, as demonstrated by Victor Robinson, they do work quite well, but not out of the box. Not the way these uh, strength cleats do. Okay. And just a couple more here. Yeah. That is phenomenal. And uh, one more. It might take a few bags of these to, to to get a full squad or full set of 11 players that will obey and won't just do hard loops to the left or right or, or, or other shenanigans, but... You gotta admit, that's a pretty cool route. And um, this was the result of only the, the, the slightest finger tweaking to get the bases, the, the curve that you want for forward progress. Uh, there's no tools involved in what you just saw. So let me say it one more time. And I've said this before. Uh, strength cleats, good. Speed cleats, bad. And, you know, a set of strength cleats are only like four and a half dollars. So, you know, for an extra nine bucks, I think you can really amp up the enjoyment of your initial electric football purchase. And now, obviously, if any uh, veteran coaches are watching this, just stick with ITZ bases. I don't know if these will outperform those ever. But as far as getting your foot in the door and getting started with electric football, these are terrific. And in that regard, I would value these higher than total team control bases, even without the directional control. So again, for just an additional $4.5, um... For 11 more strength cleats, the keys to enjoying electric football uh, open uh, the doors wide open for a, a far bigger audience. At least in my opinion. I know I enjoyed the game far more once I got more strength cleats and could actually start um, running plays rather than just you know watching uh, all my eligible receivers uh, fall over on every play but very quickly let me show you one of the biggest issues with uh, invisibasis and we'll use this lineman figure as an example this is a current uh tutor figure the the ones that come in sets of 11 and are pre-painted in these high gloss finishes and very impeccable paint job um these Bases don't fit those figures properly, some of them anyway. Any of the figures with a foot sticking here back at the edge of the base uh, prevents 
and Invisibase from going on correctly. This applies to strength cleats as well. And let me show you um, a runner figure. Here's one. This really illustrates it. If you can see that back foot there, uh, that prevents an Invisibase from fitting properly. Now, older figures, um, including the discount figures Tudor has for sale with uh, the dark green bases with no hole in the base plate. Uh, I think those are still going for $5 a piece. Those fit these bases fine, but the modern figures are just a little bigger. And so your, your linemen, possibly your wide receivers, and your running backs, uh, the rear foot is going to keep invisibases from uh, fitting properly. That will affect their performance. It might explain why speed cleats fall over all the time. And now very quickly, one little hint I can pass along on speed cleats is to um, add a third ski beneath the figure to add some extra stability in the middle of the figure. Of course, that hoses all uh, chances of directional control when you do that. And my own preliminary test doing that, they still fall over. And it's a tough sell for me to go out and buy another bag of uh, bases that I genuinely dislike in order to possibly mitigate uh, the biggest issue with them. Um, I would rather just go buy uh, another bag of strength cleats for four and a half dollars plus tax plus shipping. Sacrifice some quickness out of my eligible receivers and my secondary and just play football. But again, that is just my opinion. Well, I certainly hope no one feels like I was too harsh with this, uh, not even a review, but just a demonstration of, of these Invisibases. I can't praise spe uh, st strength cleats enough. And at the same time, I can't condemn uh, speed cleats enough. And I will only add that most coaches out there feel the exact same way. Well, I hope this was helpful, and I will talk to you again real soon.